Good morning and welcome back to Maypole Farm. It's the final day of March 1969. We are finishing off drilling the wheat this morning. So, let's see how far we can get through. It's a nice bright morning. Although it talks to clouding over later, hopefully clouding over doesn't mean rain. Another three or four rounds in here to get to the shorter work. I'm sure get it rolled as long as we get the wheat in even if we don't get it rolled it will be fine Shouldn't be too long getting through this, I don't think. I did realise why the tractor was down to four and five mile an hour yesterday. I was in a, a gear two I, although saying that still down to four or five miles per hour in places. Yesterday, I think we still too high a gear. Yeah, if we can get this all done today, then we can get the potatoes and carrots in next month. They don't need rolling, so that saves us a job with them. And then we've got the beans to get in. Get the beans in, they need rolling as well, so... Then we will soon be getting round to getting the hay made. See how dusty it is. Not had any rain for a few days now, so everything drying out. Another couple of rounds after this round, we should be pretty close to the goring work.
He's very happy once we get all the cereal crops in. They are the main money makers on the farm. has done good on the farm since it came. First four wheel drive owned by the farm. Well, other than that county 1124 which is doing the line spread in the Alexa stops. So it's Alexa just reminding me to take my painkillers. Not that I need reminding, but the birds are chirping away. Yeah, anyway, we will continue on not using too much feed in here. Which is good. And to get the parts of wheat stacked back in the shed get the drill washed and put away and get this tractor on the cultivators for the carrots and the potatoes By the time you join us back, we will have the longest rows out. I hope this down don't gone down. There we go. Yeah, once this is drilled and rolled. Yeah, a whole heap of weight off our mind. I think it'd be about 11 o'clock when you join us back. It's coming this way now, we're getting a good head of speed up, which is aiding the drilling nicely. This slows down a little at this end, but it's only for a Put or two at the end. There's a couple of breeds up that side where we've done with Edland. We haven't got to go 
quite as far as the grass is. So we're getting through the drilling nicely now. Still a bright sunny morning. So as we go into the afternoon, looks like it's going to cloud up. But we shall soon have all the spring wheat drilled to go along with the spring barley and the winter wheat. Got the tractor there ready to go rolling once we finish drilling in here. might even be able to get into cultivating the at least the potato field today I think as long as there's no rain following that cloud <coughs> this cold that's going around. Not as bad as it was the other day when we ended up with a bit of short work on. Not a lot more of this to do. Another three, four rounds and that will be done we shall soon have to get the fertiliser spreading done get ourselves all caught up ready for hay making season second of our to guess that three or four rounds. See how close our guess was.
Exactly three rounds, I think. Well, there's a little bit left just to the side, so three and a little bit. So I would say that was pretty spot on guesswork. Let's get this tractor put down there. Get ourselves around the Edlands. Fair bit of equipment to move about, got the rolls to get back to the yard and the drill and the seed trailer, we've got the seed trailer to empty and then we can set about getting the cultivator on to do the potato field and the carrot field So look to the top of the field. We'll do another round to make sure we have enough headland to turn on. soon have our souls back to where we started And the first breed around the field almost done now. <laughs> It'll be about what, one o'clock. Two o'clock when you join us back, I think. After this quick jump cut.
and we will join you about two o'clock and see how we're doing from there. Well, we've got the wheat drilled, got a few bags to put on to Pallet. They are going on to the pallet nicely. Not sure why that one won't empty, but these will all empty. Give that one a try again. Uh, that one won't. That one won't. I don't know why. Because all the others will go back on the pallet. Got one more at the yard to go on as well which we appeared to have lost and there you go, it's going on now but we will get this one back up to the yard Get these put back under cover when we can start working the land for the potatoes going in. This is going to need soya beans. That one's empty. <coughs> Round and pick up the forklift. At least the tractor that's the forklift at the moment, our 175, which does the ploughing. So get these put back under cover. And um, may have to go to the shop and buy some seed potatoes.
Right, this one will hopefully fill one of these pallets that's over here. There's a few falling about over here. Pallet. Then we shall pop over to the store and buy ourselves some seed potatoes. Top of that, that can switch off there at the moment. And we will head over to the store <coughs> and pick up the seed potatoes. be done between now and April. It'll be about five o'clock by the time we get through the final jump cut. I think half a dozen boxes of potatoes will suffice. and get them taken over to the yard. Right, let's have a look. Seeds. How much are our potatoes going to cost? 645 a box. I think we need five by those. Should be enough there to do the field, I think. But for now, we will have a jump cut. Uh, 
and we will see you when we get to what, five o'clock see where we are at that point Well, we are on the last bit now, we are going to be, I've been talking to myself, thought I'd set recording going but hadn't, so yeah we are getting the land power I rode for the potatoes going in tomorrow, I was saying to myself, as it turns out, you can tell we're in the 60s with the power arrow, no guards or anything, just how things was in the 60s and 70s before the health and safety went mental. Some of the health and safety is a good idea, but some of it Basically, what we did anyway is common sense. Right, guards on these things, you're not supposed to go near them when they're running anyway, so you don't need the guards. It's just that some people are daft enough to go in and get their clothing snagged in we're not turning it off before they do anything, so... Health and safety is to save the idiots. As my dad used to say. Should get this power arrow in done tonight. Got about half the field done already. This tractor manages well with the power arrow on it. get dark on us, I think we can manage to finish this field's cultivation work today. Working in the dark is what lights were made for. A little easier on the tractor than the drill.
They are travelling at a slower speed to allow the land to cultivate fairly deep for the potato crop. This is one of the older style power arrows, it just zigzags along to work the soil, it doesn't rotate in a circle like modern power arrows. So it was still effective but not quite as effective as the ones you get nowadays. Sun's starting to get lower in the sky. Trees beginning to get their leaves on. The spring is well and truly in the air now. Yeah, we will continue this until we've got the field done so we can get started with the potato planting tomorrow. Hopefully we've got enough seed potatoes with five and a half boxes. We'll certainly find out tomorrow. And then we'll have to work the land down and get it ready for the carrots. Maybe a few parsnips on the headlands. be done now. The majority of it is headland work. Another what? Couple of three another three, four rounds after this we will have the main body of the field done. But for today that is where we have to leave you. Hope you enjoyed today's episode 
drilling the spring wheat and cultivating the potato land please give us a like give us a share drop us a comment if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more of the work we do here please subscribe to the channel if you give that bell a ring it will tell you when our content is available until you join us again next time thank you very much for watching enjoy the rest of your day goodbye for now